Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thanks for taking the time to look at my video. My name is Chris. We do videos on all kinds of outdoor technical apparel here um, from companies from Arteryx, Heli Hansen, Patagonia, Rab, Paca, um, to name a few. I'm currently working on a brand new website. I took my old one and just threw it away. And we are starting from scratch on a whole new website at www.meandmyjackets.com. Um, it's still in progress. I'm working on it, but we are going to um, really focus on all kinds of outdoor activities, everything from hiking, camping, fishing, snowboarding, skiing, mountain climbing, rock climbing, sailing, ice climbing, the whole bit. And it's going to be based on what to wear when you go out there. <laughs> So I know kind of a little cheesy, but it works. Um, and we are going to try to expand in the future with this with not only jackets, but getting into more base layers, pants, sunglasses, backpacks, and footwear. All right, we're, we're trying to build here. So um, keep, uh, keep an eye out for that in the future and uh, definitely trying to look to expand to all these things. So um, if you are new to the channel, please take some time, uh, take a look around. I have a ton of videos here, well over 150 at this point on all kinds of jackets and, and telling you all about them. And um, also use the playlists here on my channel that help break down different categories to help you navigate, find your way around and hopefully find what you're looking for a little bit easier. So thank you very much. Um, you know, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. And I'm gonna keep trying to grow and expand this and give you guys as much as I can. So thank you very much. Today's video is about my favorite jackets for the fall 2023 um, I did a video last year similar to this for the fall um, and it was all about jackets from Arcteryx because at the time that's all I had um, this year that since I have expanded into some other companies I have reviewed a bunch of jackets from some of these other companies and I'm going to include a few of those jackets here in this video as well so it's not just going to be Arcteryx stuff although a lot of it still is um, but <laughs> that being said we'll jump right into it um, so we'll start off with fleeces all right this uh, fleece that I'm wearing is the kyanite lightweight which used to be called the kyanite LT and this is just one of my favorite pieces of all time it's uh, just great it's one of those pieces when you first put it on you say oh yeah this is really nice and this is that. All right, um, very lightweight, soft, stretchy, comfortable, just really versatile, um, just a great piece for not only the fall, but I mean anytime. And it can be worn standalone, it can be worn under something. Uh, it, what can I say? I mean, it's just an awesome, awesome piece. Now, Arteryx also makes the Kyanite, which is heavier than this lightweight version. And, you know, things like the Covert um, fleeces as well. They are definitely heavier. They, to me, are more like putting on a light jacket. Um, this is more like, I feel like I'm putting on a second shirt. Okay, definitely a lot lighter. Um, but it's just enough to give you that little extra bit of warmth um, that you may need. Uh, you know, whether you're hanging around the house on a cool day, um, you know, you're just going out somewhere casual, you're wearing this under another heavier layer or a soft shell, a hard shell. I mean, you can do anything with this. It's just awesome. Okay, from there we're going into a hoodie, a fleece hoodie from a company called Paca. So this is made of um, alpaca wool. Um, it's a really nice lightweight fleece. Now alpaca wool is the second warmest per weight um, fleece available. Uh, well, I shouldn't even say available. It's because the number one is not really available because it's polar bear down, 
all right? Um, or, you know, polar bear um, fleece fur. And I don't know who's gonna go out there and catch a polar bear and shave them down. So I think uh, alpaca is probably your best choice if you want the warmest, softest, like cashmere, lightweight fleece you're gonna find. And it's also um, totally uh, odor resistant as well. Just the alpaca fibers are naturally odor resistant as well. What's really cool about this alpaca wool and all this, the products made from this company is keep in mind that alpacas, um, the animals, live in the Peruvian mountains um, naturally. That's where these are made. Um, <laughs> the temperature extremes are crazy there. It can be really warm and hot during the day and it can be freezing at night. So the alpacas have to adjust and have a fur that can keep them warm in these crazy extreme temperatures, right? It can keep them cooler when it's really hot and then warm when it's really cold. So alpaca is definitely something that is a really cool, versatile um, piece. Now these are very um, casual fitting, okay? It's a it's just a, a lightweight, just casual, looser fitting kind of fleece. It has a larger hood, um, but it's it's really, really nice whether you're wearing it as a sweater going out to dinner um, or under, you know, a jacket or under a shell. Um, just a great, really, really like this. Um, nice, lightweight, warm fleece. Okay, um, my next one I don't have here. I'm going to show you a picture of it from my review. Um, this is the Heli Hansen Odin Pro Shield Jacket. Um, this was definitely something that I was really impressed by. I really like this piece. Um, it's a cool piece because it kind of brings us from a fleece into a soft shell. Um, it has a nice fleece breathable fleece on the inside, but the outside has a little more durable material that has a DWR coating, so it can repel some light rain and repel some wind. So while it is a fleece like this, right, which normally just soaks up water like a sponge, um, this one is actually able to repel some light rain and wind. Um, and it still has that nice soft fleece feel on the inside, right? Well, being like a soft shell on the outside. So it's a really unique piece. Um, they make this one and they make another model called the Cascade Shield, which is extremely similar to this one, only it's, I just want to call it, um, a little, um, not lighter, but not so technical version. This one has a little more features and stuff on it. Um, so this is cool because it can be worn standalone as a fleece. It can be worn as a fleece under a heavier layer, or it could be worn as a soft shell, as an outer layer on top of a lighter, you know, insulated piece under under it. So very cool, all right? Definitely kind of transfers us from a fleece to a soft shell at the same time. So while we're into that, now we're getting into the soft shells. Let's talk about uh, one here from Arcteryx. This is the Squamish hoodie. And this is basically just an extremely lightweight um, nylon windbreaker from Arcteryx. I mean, lightweight. I mean, it's it's just <laughs> a really, really light piece. But putting this on top of, you know, a light insulation layer to block the wind or a fleece like this to block the wind is awesome. Um, a fleece like this kyanite is not going to be windproof. It's very breathable. The air is going to, cold air is going to blow right through it. Um, but putting this Squamish hoodie on top of it really helps to hold in some of the heat inside and block the cold wind from getting in. So really nice. So this combination is actually going to give you very similar, maybe a little bit better than that Heli Hansen Odin Shield in one jacket. 
okay? So there's, here's our little link. I'm, that's why I'm doing these two at the same time next to each other so you can kind of see uh, that this combination is similar to what that one jacket gives you. So very cool for that. Now, just for reference, while I'm getting another jacket here, I am six foot two, 215 pounds, and every piece here except for one, which I'll tell you about later, um, is an extra large. All right, so you can kind of get an idea. Um, now, the next two is the same jacket. I have two different colors. So you can see I, I really like this one. Um, why do I have to do two different colors? It's a whole nother long story. I probably talk about it in one of my videos of, about this uh, jacket, but um, yeah, I won't get into that right now. But this is the Arteryx Gamma SL, which is now, I believe, called the Gamma Lightweight. All right, so this is just a really, really great soft shell. No insulation, all right? Um, just as I kind of look at it as a second layer of skin, all right? Um, it's just that little extra lightweight um, added protection on top of a fleece, another insulated jacket, whatever. Um, it's really versatile. Um, it's a light, breathable, somewhat stretchy material. Um, just super comfortable. It, it's just, these things are great. Um, so yeah, so I wear the blue one a lot in the summer months, in warmer weather, and I wear the dark green one more in the winter. Um, I mean, basically the colors just go better with what I'm wearing for different seasons, but whatever. Um, but yeah, the Gamma Lightweight, awesome piece. Okay, um, from there, let's get into some of the hard shells. Um, I'll, I'll start off with the ones I don't have. I'll show you a picture. First one here up here is the Rab Kinetic Alpine 2.0. This piece, I loved it. All right, I actually didn't want to send it back. Um, but I had to because I wanted to buy more pieces to review. Um, anyway, I actually ended up buying one later for my daughter because um, this, this is just awesome. So this is a soft shell that has qualities of a hard shell. Um, yeah, very cool piece. So what do I mean by that? It's windproof. It's waterproof. It's... Um, <laughs> breathable it's lightweight but it doesn't have that same hard kind of crinkly material like a Gore-Tex um, it's a very soft stretchy material on it and it's just has a lot of nice features it's just a great jacket so it's kind of that cross between a soft shell and the hard shell it gives it has all the qualities of a soft shell with the features and qualities of a hard shell so very cool piece um, definitely check this one out from Rab um, I, I really really like that piece it was just something that stood out to me you know um, I bought one like I said I bought one for my daughter she lives in Florida right it's not cold she's not wearing this over all kinds of crazy layers but she wanted a really nice um, rain jacket you know for all those thunderstorms and torrential downpours they get in Florida um, when it's hot out so she needs something lightweight breathable tough right durable I want something that's gonna last a long time for her and waterproof and this is what I got her and she loved it so she wears this all the time um, down in Florida when she's got heavy rains and thunderstorms and she even took it to a trip with her to Colorado uh, where it was colder she wore like a heavy sweater and she put this over top and she loved it so definitely a really cool piece um, from there we're gonna go into Heli Hansen they make the Loak um, jacket um, this thing is been, has been around for a long time. It's a really popular piece from Heli Hansen, and there's a reason for that, right? It's just a great, versatile piece. Um, another piece that I just pulled it out of the bag, 
put it on and said, yeah, this is really nice. I like this. Just something about it I just really liked. Um, it's simple. It's a rain jacket. It's waterproof. It's windproof. It's lightweight. Um, and, and it's just it's basic, but it's perfect. It's just perfect for just about anything like that. Um, nice piece. It has some room you can layer underneath it if you like. Um, just awesome, lightweight, breathable um, rain shell jacket. All right, from there we're going into um, Patagonia. Um, Patagonia has the granite crest jacket. Now, I did a video where I tested five different Patagonia rain shells, all different jackets. Um, and this is the one I like the best out of all of them. Um, I was really impressed with the Triolet. That's a really heavy, durable Gore-Tex Pro hard shell, like all the bells and whistles. Great jacket. But this one um, was my favorite as it's lighter. It's just got all the bells and whistles. Um, really comfortable. Fit great. I, I just... I really liked this hard shell. So, um, you know, check that one out as well. Um, but check out that video. If you like Patagonia stuff, look at that video on the five, comparing five different uh, Patagonia rain jackets. Um, that was pretty, that was a pretty good video, <laughs> I must say. Um, okay, last hard shell is my Arteryx Rush IS. Now, this is on my list of one of my top favorite all time ever jackets. Um, there's, I actually have four of them here on this table. This one, this Kyanite, my Adam LT, and there is a Proton FL here. We'll get into these later. But these jackets are just awesome. So the Rush IS, okay, um, the Rush Jackets is a Gore-Tex Pro hard shell that's meant, made for snowboarding, skiing, you know, snow sports, mountain activities like that. Um, it's, <laughs> yeah, I, and I don't do any of that, okay, so why do I have this? Uh, I'll, I'll get there. Um, what makes this jacket really unique and special to me is the fact that it has a special warm soft octoloft lining inside. Um, really, really nice. So it's a Gore-Tex Pro hard shell, totally wind resistant, rain resistant, okay? Um, uh, waterproof, <laughs> windproof, I'm sorry, I'm getting, repeating myself. Um, and it has its own insulation inside. So, this is the only jacket that I bought in a size large rather than an extra large. All these are extra large. As I'm 6'2", 215 pounds, everything's extra large. This one is a large. I downsized this because this jacket generally runs a bit large, large fitting, okay? It's a regular fit. Um, it's meant, like I said, for snow sports where you might be wearing multiple layers underneath it, right? So you need room not only for the layers, but to be able to move, all right? You don't want something tight and restricting. Um, so for me, I'm not doing all that, but I bought this jacket as a cooler weather rain jacket, all right? In the summer when it's hot out and we have thunderstorms, I wear my Beta LT, okay? In the fall and spring when it's colder out and it's windy and rainy, this is my jacket. Because this already has a light insulation layer in it already, okay? It's just awesome. I mean, this thing has all the bells and whistles. Uh, it's a rush jacket. I mean, it's loaded with options. It's got pit zips. It's got all kinds of adjustments on the hood. It's got pockets, dump pockets, zippered pockets inside. Um, it's got a reco reflector. It's got a pocket on the sleeve. It's got all kinds of adjustments on the bottom. It has a powder skirt. It's got adjustments on the, on the sleeves. I mean, this thing is loaded with features and it's just awesome. Um, unfortunately, at this time, 
at least here anyway, this jacket is not available from Arteryx anymore. I wish it was. <laughs> I really love this piece. And if they made this available again, I'd be really tempted to buy the extra large for the winter. Um, it just, it's, it's awesome. Really great piece. All right, now I have another jacket over here, this Proton FL, or Proton Lightweight. I'll get into this in a little bit. Um, that one also has that same Octoloft um, lining insulation inside. So very nice lightweight, but just makes this thing super versatile. Uh, for me, in cooler weather, I don't need to wear anything underneath it, or even just a light fleece underneath it. It already has its own insulation. Just a really, really awesome jacket. Okay, from there, let's get into my insulated stuff. I'm going to blast through this as quickly as I can. This is the Atom SL. I think they call it the Atom Lightweight now. Um, just a <laughs> everyday, do anything, go everywhere kind of jacket, okay? Lightweight jacket, 40 grams of ins Korloft insulation in the front and in the back. These sleeves do not have an insulation. They have a kind of like a perforated breathable lining in the sleeve and underneath the sleeve, under the arm and down the sides, it has a very lightweight fleece panel. So a very, very nice piece. It has a thin nylon hood. There's no insulation on it, but the hood can be rolled up and, and clip, like hooked into the back here of the uh, hood, um, you know, collar so that it can be stowed and put away. But just to show you briefly, the sleeves, um, the red part here is that soft, stretchy, lightweight fleece that goes down throughout the jacket. And the gray part is that perforated breathable material lining inside the sleeve. So a really nice versatile piece, right? It's an atom. The atom line is, is just awesome from Arteryx. Okay, from there, the Proton FL. Again, this is on my list of one of my all time favorite best pieces. Um, this was a jacket that you take out of the bag and you put it on and you just go, wow, this is nice. <laughs> um, yeah, this has that soft core loft insulation inside. Very soft, nice and warm, lightweight. It's just enough in here that it just feels like it's hugging you. Um, really, really comfortable, super comfortable jacket. Um, the Protons are very, very breathable. The Proton FL, which is now the lightweight. I have a Proton Hybrid here. The Proton LT, um, very, very breathable jackets made for high output activities. Um, but this is just my jacket for going out on a cooler day in the fall. When I take my camera out in the woods and go on a little hike and do some wildlife, some bird photography and stuff that I enjoy doing, um, this is my piece. I bought it in this color specifically for that so I kind of can blend in with the foliage and not be wearing this when I'm trying to, you know, stalk creatures in the woods, right? So, <laughs> um, yeah, awesome piece. Love this jacket. I can't say enough about it, all right? So from there, we're going to talk about the Proton Hybrid. So this was a jacket that is basically advertised and described as, you know, specifically for use for snow sports, skiing, snowboarding, stuff like this, cross country stuff. Um, really unique jacket, 40 grams of core loft insulation in the front body. That's it. No insulation in the back, no insulation in the sleeves. It um, just has a lightweight lining inside. Um, again, very breathable. The fabric, the red fabric here throughout the jacket is the same kind of breathable fabric that's on the other Protons, like Proton LT as well. So it's very breathable fabric. 
But the bright orange fabric here on the top is a Gore-Tex Infinium. Gore-Tex Infinium is a wind stopper. So very, very cool jacket. I definitely like this. It's a newer piece for me and I'm definitely looking forward to wearing this uh, more and more this fall. Um, okay, we're getting there. Um, next up, the Adam LT. Now I have two of these. I have a black one with gold trim that I have had for years and it's too one of my favorite pieces ever. It's just such a versatile, warm, comfortable jacket. Um, it has 60 grams of core loft insulation inside of it and it has fleece, breathable fleece panels from under the arms and down the sides. So if I open up this jacket, you can see this blue panel here is the fleece panel, okay, from underneath the arm right on down. It's a stretchy, breathable fleece. So while it gives you some warmth, it gives you some breathability here as well. The Adam LT is just an amazing jacket. It's one of the most popular jackets Arteryx makes. And there's a good reason for that, right? Uh, this thing is just awesome. So I have that black and gold one. I have wear it in a bunch of my other videos. Um, this is a new one. I bought this um, because it's just cool and I love the jacket so much. So I just, I wanted this jacket. So here we go. All right, two more. Bear with me here. We're getting there. Um, this is a little heavier jacket. Definitely for colder weather, but I wanted to include it here in my fall lineup um, for those nights like in early November, mid-November, when it starts getting colder out and there's definitely a chill in the air. It may be windy. You need something just a little step up warmer. This is the Nuclei jacket. It used to be called the Nuclei FL. This thing is incredible, all right? The Atom LT is about the same weight, 60 grams core loft insulation. This has breathable fleece panels in it. The whole jacket is kind of breathable. This is not. This is made to hold in that heat and it is totally wind resistant, okay? Incredibly wind resistant. I love this piece. Um, I've worn this out in the winter in a t-shirt with like 20 degree wind, uh, 20, well, not 20, but say high upper 20 degree wind chills. And I didn't feel a thing through this jacket. It's incredibly warm for its weight, all right? So definitely check this out. It's a very, very unique jacket. I, I really haven't found anything similar to this or like it, you know, um, from any of the other companies so far. As far as it's totally wind resistant, super lightweight, and incredibly warm for its weight. All right. Lastly, we're gonna get through this I have one more piece here and it is a down jacket. Everything else I have here is synthetic insulation. This is the Arteryx Cerium SL and this is the lightest weight down jacket that Arteryx has made. Unfortunately at this time I don't believe it's available but hopefully they'll bring it back soon. Um, just an extremely lightweight, super like just thin, thinner lightweight down jacket um, that I, I love this. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, that I think wraps it up. We went through a lot of stuff here. I hope I, I didn't miss anything. I think I got it all covered. Um, I thank you very much for watching the video. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me for all this. Um, I hope I you know shared with you some good information. Again, if there's uh, a piece or two here that you're really interested in and you really liked and like to know more about, I do have a separate video here on this channel for it. <laughs> okay. So take some time, take a look around. Thank you for watching today. Hopefully we'll see you back soon in another video. And take care, have a great day. Bye.